this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgia Mall Christmas 2022. I do want to apologize for the gap in videos. There might be a few more little gaps in these videos, but unfortunately, I'm currently in the middle of a uh, family emergency, so uh, things are a little bit uh, hectic right now. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay, but things are just a little bit of a mess right now, so that's why I just haven't had time to make videos, um, so I uh, hate that it's, that's had to happen, but anyway, we'll try our best to uh, keep the Christmas spirit alive here um, with something that's not Christmassy at all. <laughs> We're back once again with the uh, ThinkPad X201 still running uh, Windows XP. Did have a blue screen of death on it, uh, about a week or so ago when I was trying to rip a CD, but I think that CD was just a little bit messed up, so uh, we won't blame the computer for this. But in this video, I want to show something called the uh, Windows XP In Experience Pack. And pretty much what this is, is a uh, program that changes the entire look of Windows XP and makes it look just like Windows 2000. And sure, you can set the uh, Windows uh, Classic theme on Windows XP, um, but it still doesn't quite look the part. But with this, um, we'll be able to make Windows XP um, look just like Windows 2000 in most ways, I believe. This is um, available on DeviantArt. Um, I don't really look at DeviantArt. It's not something I'm really interested in, but they do have a lot of... Uh, like vintage computer related uh, doodads there, and this is one of them. So um, let's go ahead and install it. This was actually made um, back in the 2000s, I want to say around 2006 or so. Just recently found out about it. So um, it's just a simple setup procedure. Hopefully I won't have to reinstall Windows after this because I'm not sure if I want to keep it like this. Next, next. Uh, automatically reload on boot. And this will modify some files um, and it will even apply it to third-party applications. So just for reference, um, here's Microsoft Word 2003 um, with the uh, which currently matches the XP Luna theme. And so we'll go ahead and uh, let it install. I have tried this, but only in a virtual machine. This is my first time trying this on real hardware. Probably going to have a lot of stuff to install. Would be nice to uh, switch between the two uh, themes, but I'm not sure if that'll be possible or not. So we'll... Uh, let this install. All right, it's completed. And um, I guess to initialize it, we have to reboot it first. Okay, still got the Windows XP uh, look and uh, sound so far. All right, we got the same uh, Windows XP splash screen. I don't think it changes that. Okay, so far that's the same. Don't know if we have to uh, go into uh, the display settings to change it. Okay, we still got the Luna theme, but look, um, we have the Windows ME slash 2000 uh, desktop icons here. As well as uh, some icons that have changed on the uh, taskbar here. And so I guess for the uh, full effect, we will need to uh, change the the uh, theme to the Windows Classic style. All 
All right, look at that. We even got the old Windows uh, logo there. And we will uh, kick it up a notch and change it to the classic start menu. And just having to think about it. There, there we go. And it actually shows up as Windows 2002 Professional. Nice little touch there. Go ahead and mute the audio there. That was getting a little annoying. And we've even got the old Windows style, the old uh, style Windows logo there from uh, Windows 2000. And, what, and this is good because I uh, think this computer is a little bit too new to run uh, Windows 2000 on. Okay, still got the IE7 logo there. But you can see my computer and my documents, that's the old style. Go to Microsoft Word and now it's uh, gray instead of blue. Let's see... Um, the uh, sounds, I believe, are the, the uh, same. They're the same as Windows uh, XP. Still got this uh, on the side here. I'll go ahead and uh, save my sound scheme there. Yeah, I don't think we have uh, the uh, sounds from Windows 2000, but you can change that if you'd like. Um, you can copy them over, obviously. That's no big deal. Let's see, what, what else can we do to make this uh, a little more uh, retro-looking? Ooh, Windows Classic. Now it looks like Windows 98. <laughs> Fonts look a little bit different, of course, but for the most part, it kind of looks like uh, a uh, mesh of Windows 98, Windows 2000, and Windows XP all at once. Even the uh, DVD icon and uh, hard drive icons have changed. Uh, the uh, DVD icon, uh, as you can see, I, this computer doesn't have a built-in DVD drive, but I do have um, Damien Tools installed for mounting ISOs. So yeah, um, we can unlock the taskbar there. <laughs> it looks the part. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, even get the uh, Windows ME icon for Windows Movie Maker. The file for video transitions and effects is missing. Well, that's just nice. Okay, anything else um, that we can show off? Not really. Everything's uh, pretty much cut and dry there. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I have to show in this video. Um... Pretty simple video here, but I did want to show this off. I will put a link in the description for the uh, Inexperience Pack if you want to give it a try. And so, um, hope you um, enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. The links to these are in the description below. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.